Alright, so this is how to use Command Blocks Part 2, Part 1 was ages ago, but I'm now finally doing a Part 2. And stick around for the entire video, this is an extremely important episode of this probably only 3 or 4 episode long series on how to use Command Blocks. And as I said last time, super quickly, uh, if you do want to have a private lesson, find a link at the bottom of the description, do be sure to check it out, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, so in this one, it's going to be much less me showing you commands and stuff, much more me kind of chatting to you, really. Because I feel like that's going to be more helpful for this episode. So if you didn't watch the last episode, I highly recommend you go check it out. That would, if you haven't watched that, then you're going to not know some of the basics. We went over the three types of command block and what, uh, uh, like, conditional and always active and needs redstone mean, things like that. One of my favourite commands, most useful ones, and sort of started showing you how to make cha chains of command blocks. So today what I'm going to be doing is first of all I'm going to be showing you how I come up with mini games. Then how I put those mini games into reality, and then finally, just how I remember what, how I how I put that into reality, because I can show you how I use how I add all these commands together, but I'm going to show you how to how to memorize those commands, how to know exactly what they do. So first up, how I come up with ideas for mini games. So this I'm going to keep keep flying back to here for today's episode because. This is a good example. This is a mini game I came up with. Well, I didn't actually come up with it, but I decided to create it. I have never seen it being created on Bedbolt before. It's called Minecraft Block Shuffle. Dream Dream has done a video on it. Basically, him, two players, each player gets selected, a block at random that they have to stand on. If they don't stand on it within the time of five minutes, they lose. And when they both stand on it, they get another block. And it goes on and on and on until someone doesn't stand on their block. So this is really an interesting thing to come up with. So the way I come up with my tutorials is first of all you've got to watch YouTubers, see what sort of things they're doing, look at servers, what sort of mini games do servers have, and you can try you can try and magpie those ideas and maybe modify them to work best for you and just work best for the way your command blocks work, really. You've got to do all that. You've got you've got to just get inspiration for your ideas from all over the place. It does not matter where. Or you can cut your ideas, however, Minecraft mini games are quite a saturated thing, as in there aren't many new mini games you can create that haven't been created. Obviously, you can create. There, there are probably a lot of super, 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 super complicated ones that have never been created, but no simple ones. And simple ones are the ones you usually want to be creating. So, the best way is just to kind of magpie other people's ideas. And I'm saying magpie, not steal, because it isn't really outright stealing. You're borrowing it. You can give. You might have to give them credit if you're doing a video on it or whatever. I haven't done a video on this one. I have to give Dream credit, although credit to Dream. I think that it was his idea, the original. So. I've shown you sort of how I come up with these ideas. Now, how do I start? How do I start putting this into reality? This is the, one of the hardest bits. So the way I usually do this is when you're building a, min a massive mini game. I'm talking about massive mini games here, like this. This all is for one block, not small mini games, massive ones. What you've got to do is you've got to start. You, when you get started, you can work from there. So you place a single command block down. And you work from there. That command block, right there, is the first command block you use. You have to just, you have to decide on a game the base command, the command that kind of lets the game run. So there could be multiple commands for this. For block shuffle. I decided the command that tests to see whether the block is standing on is the block. That's like the basic command that you need for the game to run. You could have done the command that selects their block, or the command that. Uh, selects a new block, but I decided to do the command that knows when they have stood on their block, because that feels like the most valid thing. So that is this command right here. Execute at p, tag equals whatever, tilde 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 test for block, tilde tilde minus one tilde, and then the block. Just that. And then from that command, I build outwards in all directions, before and after, and so on and so on, creating it. I just go on and on, I just continue to, just, you just gotta build it, right? You just have to start somewhere, and when you've started, you should hopefully get into the flow of things and start creating something that works for you. So that's what I've done here in full. I have literally just put that command there first. I started building up what happens when it's det detected that, and um, what, ha what happens to make that activate, then how it starts again, and overall, eventually it's going to come together. Now, there are going to be a lot of failed attempts at the very start. That's just natural though. At the start, everything is really is going to fail. It's just the way it's going to work. 
not everything is going to work the moment you do it. There are going to be mistakes, you have to fix them. I still make mistakes, I'm never going to stop making mistakes because I'm never going to be amazing with commands. However, the better you get, the less mistakes you'll make on average. That's just the way it works in theory. So now I've showed you how you sort of start it. I'm going to show you not how you build it necessarily, but like basically I'm going to show you the way that you could have memorized all the commands and how I know the commands to use. So let's actually go back over here. So before I actually do that, I'm going to just show you how I create chains of commands. So I haven't actually put anything here. What's over here? Yeah. So. One of the best things about command blocks is that you can create them in chains. So you, can, so you basically, you can create chains of code happening. Basically. These chains of code. They work together in different ways. This is a command, this is a command, this is a command. These commands together will do something very different to these two commands because that command will add something. That's the way it works. It's the same. And I'm gonna actually gonna use, I'm gonna spend a minute talking about this with building. Command and building, you might say they're not very similar, and I understand that. However, they are actually fairly similar. I've actually found this this block palette, and it is very underrated. Uh, whoops. So, as you can see here, building. You have one or two blocks, block col colors or palette types or whatever. It doesn't look very good. But, same with commands. You have one or two commands, nothing very interesting happens. But when you put command after command after command together, it makes a really interesting thing. Same way with building, as I said. If you have a house made out of... Uh, let's do... Oak planks. Not going to be very interesting, is it? If you have a house out of different types of plank, grass, glass, sorry wood and other stuff like that it looks really it can look it can look it can look really cool basically it's the same way it's same with commands commands and building are actually very similar in my opinion although commands i'm not going to take more effort but they're more they're more kind of mathsy in a way like commands but yeah so now i wonder how i remember commands there's no way to remember commands just there is no straight way to remember them the best way, as you can see through all of these, all of these, is to build a lot. Build a lot of creations, a lot of different creations, so that you're going to have a command creation. You, you're going to be using each command, basically. So there are a couple of useless ones. I have never used the uh, slash function command. I don't even know how that works. Neither have I used slash tell war. I don't use that either. But basically, just use most of the commands. And eventually... They're all going to just get stuck in your head, hopefully. And if not, you can go back to them. Watching tutorials is a good way. I didn't watch tutorials to do something, to do the thing. I watched tutorials to get to know how to do the thing so I could do it myself and make up an idea myself. But you literally just have to... It's difficult to explain. You just have to create command after command after command. Uh, creation after creation after creation. And eventually, something like this is going to happen. That uses half at least 10 different commands. That uses about 5 or 6, probably more, and a bit of redstone. That uses 3 or 4 commands. That uses 3. That over there is just using tons of different commands. That over there is just all one command, that bit there, but that bit over there is a very complicated command that I had to copy from Dak on Black Rose because I didn't know how to do it myself. All of this is different commands, right? And you just have to put them all together. You just have to try and try and try. And eventually, you will just know the commands. There's no other way. Another way, slash help doesn't really work. It's better on Java. But you slash and type in two letters. And you can see tons of commands, basically. And you can just... You can literally just try out commands and see wh whether they work. And you can just do that. It doesn't make too much sense. I'm not very good at explaining it. However, I am trying my best. The best way to describe it is... Is base is basically uh, you. You literally just need to it's simple, really. No, no, I'm explaining it. You just need to do. You just need to create stuff. When you've created stuff, you'll be able to create more stuff because you have more confidence. You will know what you're doing better. You just have to keep doing that. You have to keep creating, creating, even if you don't want to, even if you have no ideas. You have no ideas, do what I said at the beginning, just steal an idea of someone else. See a YouTuber's V idea, I always use insane orbits for um, ideas. Literally just... 
create their video idea. So look, don't watch their video necessarily, but look at their title, see what they've created, and think, huh, I'm going to create that. Without watching the video, create that, then go back to their video, because I mean, Stay in Orbits or me, or any other ca command block centered YouTuber, because I'm not being boastful here, but a, a YouTuber based on command blocks usually knows what they're doing with command blocks. So if you do what they're doing, basically, if you see, oh, they've made this, then you make it, and then you see what they've done, it will help you learn, because you will know whether you're doing... Because obviously you want to be different, you want to be original. A lot of my commands I've never seen anyone do before, in that way. However, you can use inspiration from others, and you can see how they do it, and think, huh, that way is actually slightly cleaner than the way I do it. Insane Orbits uses a way cleaner than this, where we execute at these coordinates, rather than at someone standing on these blocks. And I can't do that, because I don't know how. I should probably watch a tutorial on it. I haven't yet, because I can't be bothered. You literally just have to create commands. The more you do, the faster you will improve. It's just the way commands work. And that is going to wrap it up for this. I really hope this was helpful. And again, if you do want to be able to create something yourself, if you do want to have a private hour long, two hour long, whatever, to talk, to talk with me on a, on a call, let me know. Uh, click the link in the description to take you to a Fiverr page. It's really cheap. It's too cheap I think but I really appreciate like like a ton and that will help more than this video I hope because I will answer your questions with these I try to answer questions in the comments I sometimes will make videos on the questions in the comments however that way is easier because I can do it right then right there and yeah if you did enjoy this video and want to see a part 3 where I go over whatever else there is to go over with commands do leave a like down below it takes a second and goes a really long way, considering these videos take at least half an hour to an hour to make. Some of them take longer. Also subscribe for more tutorials, more gameplay, more whatever. Comment down below any other video, video ideas you'd like to see, any command block tutorials, gameplay challenges, anything like that. I really, really, really appreciate suggestions and I will often do a video on it. Because I sometimes don't have too many video ideas, I have about 10 now, so uh, it might be a while. But, and just... Check out all the links in my uh, description. I've got Discord, Instagram, Linktree, which takes me to all your links, or takes you to all my links. I have too many links, and I will see you in a couple of days with another video. Peace.